In this video, we are going to cover exactly what Zoho is. I'm Drew, a Zoho consultant and a Zoho certified partner, and I help teams to set up Zoho. And then I train those teams on how to use Zoho according to best practices. If you are interested in business systems and how to build them properly, then like and subscribe to the channel. All right, so people ask me all the time, they'll be like, Drew, what is Zoho? And I'll think to myself, I'm gonna give them the short answer or the long answer. So I'm gonna give you both. But the short answer is Zoho is a software company that makes applications for businesses. But that's a pretty lame, low resolution answer. And when I say that to people, I can still see they're like a deer in the headlights. They're like, what does that even mean? And who cares? So um, one important thing to understand about Zoho for the long answer is Zoho has 100 million users. So this isn't a small software company, this is a large software company. And they uh, term themselves as the most popular CRM platform. And for you to really understand Zoho, you've got to have a good understanding of what customer relationship management software is. That's what CRM stands for. And I'll explain it to you like this. Uh, if you whip out your phone and you go to your contacts app, that's like your personal CRM. It's where you have all, it's where you store all the information for the people that matter to you in your life or that you have some kind of connection with. For a business, uh, a CRM is essentially their contacts app. So I'm actually going to show you what this looks like. I don't want to just leave it up to the imagination what Zoho creates. So this is Zoho One. It's what they're most famous for, Zoho One and Zoho CRM. You can see I'm in the contact section of Zoho CRM, as you can see here. So like on your phone, you have your contacts app. In Zoho CRM, there's a contacts section. So you can add all the people that have to do with your organization, different customers. Um, you've got leads for prospects. You've got deals for prospects. This represents unqualified opportunities. This represents qualified opportunities. And so that's the important thing to know. It doesn't just store contact information, it stores all of your organization's information. You can see here, if I click down, um, there's more information that I can track with the organization. It's impossible to keep all this information on one record. So they're stored on various different records and then they tie together. So the nice thing is not only can I see my information for the organization, I can see my information in relation to my processes. That's a major advantage that a CRM software has. So now you can see not just the information that's pertinent to my business, you can see my process from left to right for my organization, how I take someone from becoming aware of me in the organization to becoming a customer and see that all within the CRM. So that's a quick introduction to what Zoho is. They're a software company, they've got hundred million users and they create CRM software. That's what they're known for. Um, but as you can see in the CRM, there's all these modules. Uh, Zoho also has over 50 plus applications. So not only do they have a CRM, they also have project management tool. They have analytics um, for analyzing the information across different applications, campaigns for marketing, desk for customer success, books for finance, sales IQ for tracking on your website, flow for building automations, sign, which is like a DocuSign parallel product where you can send documents out for signature, vault to store your passwords, and on and on and on. They have so many different applications. They have 50 plus applications rolled up into a bundle called Zoho One. And Zoho One is their best offering. It's the most amount of software for the least amount of price, not just in Zoho, really in the entire industry of CRM software. All right, so there's two kind of general buckets for people who should really care about Zoho and what Zoho has to offer. And the first bucket is revenue operations leaders. So when I say revenue operations, I'm talking about sales, marketing, and service. And so if you're um, on the executive team, if you're a small business owner and you wear many hats and you are the RevOps team, awesome. Um, if you're a marketing leader and you wanna see what's being tracked, if you're a sales leader, you wanna see what's being tracked. And if you're in customer service and you wanna just hook up to your CRM, all these things, th this is a group of people um, that should really care about what Zoho is and has to offer. Um, the other group is if you're in IT and you're a technical person in your organization and you wanna make sure all of your data is in one platform, um, then Zoho is also for you. So that's that's the short of it. Now, the long answer is more um, 
what is what is the state of mind for people who are usually really into Zoho? And what I'm noticing in the industry is because software is so big, people are paying for like 50 different software subscriptions and they're drowning in software software subscriptions. And it costs so much um, to pay for all these different softwares. And so people are done paying a fortune for software. We're experiencing the commoditization of CRM software amongst other software companies. The software market's becoming extremely saturated, especially with CRM software. And people don't want to pay um, a fortune every single year for uh, just to host their leads and their contacts. Um, and you don't have to anymore because there's so many different options. So with that commoditization, most people don't care anymore what kind of CRM they're using. They just want to know that it's capable of handling uh, 99% of what they do on a day-to-day -day basis and they don't want to pay an arm and a leg. So that's where Zoho comes in. Zoho is really good at taking uh, software, industry-leading software, and copying it essentially, really. And now they're it's kind of turning where they're not just copying software, they're innovating. But that's what they've been really good for the longest time. For you know over 15 years, Zoho has been around doing this. And they're really good at copying software and then bringing it down to small to medium-sized businesses. Yes, there's enterprises that use Zoho, um, but essentially Zoho is trying to take all this software that people are paying individual subscriptions for, bring it over to one platform. So more specifically, um, here are the different applications as I was showing you that Zoho offers, but the real power of Zoho for a leader is to be able to see things from one page, one dashboard, and check out how the business is doing from left to right in your process. Where are the different constraints of the business? Um, where is their fall off? Where can we focus our attention to more strategically uh, build up the organization? So you want to be able to see your operations from left to right, not just as an end user, but as a leader in the business who's trying to make improvements to the business and do what's most impactful for the business. How else are you supposed to do it? Because you can't get something like this from a spreadsheet, right? And you might think to yourself, yes, I can, I can build it. I've never seen it done. And more specifically with this, with this report, you can track the different marketing activities that are bringing in revenue and you can measure exactly how well your process is from left to right. I mean, this report's really the last report. It's just broken up by different lead sources. And so the reason I'm showing you this is the people who should care about Zoho are the people who have a process that they're responsible for in an organization and they're trying to improve it over time. You can zoom into a process or a function of the business, or you can take a zoomed out approach like I'm showing you now so that you can see things from left to right and say, okay, what's actually working for the business? A lot of people don't know what's driving revenue, for example, with their organization. Now, you don't have to be obsessed with revenue in order to take, care, uh, take advantage of Zoho, but if you are obsessed with understanding what's actually driving revenue for the organization, you're going to want a more robust system than just 50 different spreadsheets that are, um, spreadsheets are kind of lame that they're not relational databases. So they're not gonna be as robust as a system like this. So if you are looking to measure what's going on in your business, if you want to store all of your data in one place, then you're the kind of person who should care about Zoho and what Zoho has to offer. So how much Zoho costs is the real eye-opener to what makes Zoho different? Because there's no better deal in software than Zoho One. And you're going to see why in just a moment. So first off, you want to check out like the different leaders in the industry. I don't really agree with a lot of this, but it's kind of an interesting visualization of all the CRM software that's out there. Um, the go ahead and check out uh, this grid from G2. It's actually pretty interesting. It essentially just shows you like who's in the leaders quadrant um, as far as the Zoho space is concerned, high performers. Uh, it's just measuring satisfaction against market presence to give you this different quadrant. So kind of interesting. I'm going to refer back to it just to see, hey, like what are the big leaders in the CRM space. So they give awards out. Um, Zoho's won, you know, CRM of the year from like a customer experience perspective. So you can go ahead and check that out. Okay, so let's get into pricing. Salesforce is the, what do you call, 800 pound gorilla in the room as far as the CRM software is concerned. Like their ticker symbol is CRM. So they are like the competitor. Um, they have insane pricing. Um, it's absolutely crazy to check this out because I mean, look at this 500 and this is by the way, so the way that the 
the way that big platforms do this, right? They start with one app, then they get multiple different apps, then they start to grow into hubs or clouds. That's how they start to um, group these or segment their different applications. And you can think of like, uh, if, if you're not familiar with like the business application space, it's kind of like Adobe Cloud, how Adobe Cloud has like a suite of applications for like, editing photos like Photoshop and Lightroom. Then they have like a suite of applications for uh, editing videos, which is like Premiere and After Effects. So the Adobe Cloud, which is all those applications that you can pay for the Creative Cloud, um, that's where you get things like Salesforce. They're kind of categorized in the same way. So they've got like their Sales Cloud, Service Cloud, Marketing Cloud, and we're gonna jump into Sales. So with their Sales Cloud, this is just their Sales Cloud. It's $500 per user per month. That is insane. That is a crazy um, price. And the reason you're paying for that isn't necessarily because because we immediately think when we see this software, we're like, okay, premium price, premium product. Not necessarily with, I mean, if you've met anyone who's been in Salesforce, it's super ugly. It's not the greatest tool. It's really clunky. It's super robust, really clunky. It's so robust. You've got all these bells and whistles that I promise you're never going to use. So you're going to pay a premium for a bunch of features that have been built out into an application that you're never going to use. And what you're really paying for here, especially with Salesforce when they run like Super Bowl ads, is you're paying for their ads. So you're just paying for someone else to get another ad about Salesforce. So if you're into that, if you want to spend a fortune and you want to pay for another Super Bowl ad, go with Salesforce. Okay, so most people are running away from Salesforce in droves. Like the amount of migration products they've done from Salesforce to say, oh, I've just lost count. Um, so many people are sick and tired of paying Salesforce. It's actually the most ridiculous thing ever that they're able to get away with it. They're like holding half of American companies hostage on the platform. So that brings us to HubSpot. HubSpot is like, hey, we're going to beat Salesforce. Um, but they kind of started on the other end. So these different platforms, they start with one application. They start to build out from that original application and then it starts to bleed into other areas. So for example, I, rep I mentioned revenue operations earlier and salesforce started with sales software so crm contacts deals leads um, which represents opportunities for organizations to do business with another organization and then they bled into marketing and then service and then other applications around that so they kind of grew out from there and usually these platforms are more the most robust where they started um, because that's where they started so they've had the most amount of time to develop that part of the platform. So Salesforce started in sales. Zoho started in sales too. I mean, originally, originally they started I think, with Writer, um, but really what made them big um, was when they got into CRM and then expanded from there. HubSpot started with marketing. So they actually grew from marketing into sales and then offered a CRM. And so they're more robust on the marketing side, I'd say, than the sales side, um, but their sales hub is getting there. Now, here's the problem with sales uh, with HubSpot. It's also insanely expensive. And you can, you're paying per hub. And so as your organization grows from marketing and sales and service, you're paying for these additional hubs. So check this out. You got $150 per month per seat, which is like nothing compared to Einstein one sales or even unlimited. I mean, these are just, all, all of these are super expensive except for Star Suite. If you look, but if you look here for enterprise, $150 per month per seat. And yes, I'm going to use, I'm going to go for the most uh, expensive. Um, I'm going to compare the most expensive plans to each other um, so that you can see if you were to go all out on these platforms, how much they're going to cost. Because a lot of people will tell you, oh, you're going to get there eventually. You're going to cap out. You might as well just start there. Okay. So if we're going to go with that line of thinking, maybe you would try the smaller subscription for a day or, or for a couple weeks or a couple months or a year, but then you're going to move over to enterprise. So let's just go to how much those features cost, right? You're not gonna graduate through 50 different, hopefully, um, these five different subscriptions. Usually you'll start with one and you'll be like, okay, you know what, we're growing out of it, we just need everything, boom. Um, typically that's what I've seen. Anyways, you've got professional, enterprise, way more simple, um, on a monthly, $100 per month per seat. Um, for enterprise, $150 per month per seat, um, build annually, and you've gotta have enterprise onboarding for a fee of $3,500 or professional onboarding um, for a fee of $1,500. So if you want to go with that and you want to pay an onboarding fee and all that good stuff, um, then go with HubSpot by all means. Um, I actually do think HubSpot is a good product. I just think it's overpriced. And I think most people aren't going to use all the features that are in there. So 
These are like two industry giants that I want to compare in terms of pricing to Zoho. So then you've got Zoho. And where Zoho, and here's a quick thing. This is actually really important to understand. With HubSpot, um, you're inevitably going to use a bunch of other tools that HubSpot doesn't have that Zoho does have. And I think that's where Zoho really shines is between marketing and sales and service content operations commerce. There's a lot not being covered here. For example, you're still going to have to pay for a tool like Zapier for integrations. You're going to have to pay for a tool like um, DocuSign for document signature. And so it's not that HubSpot's not a robust solution. Um, it's that HubSpot and Salesforce combined don't even offer as much software as Zoho does. So here we go with Zoho's pricing. You've all been waiting for for this uh, segment of the video. So you got all employee pricing is $37 per user per month, and it's for Zoho One. Well, what on earth is Zoho One? Well, it's their suite for sales, marketing support, HR, accounting, and operations. So that's the other thing. I mean, Salesforce and HubSpot, they don't have a finance suite. Where's their finance suite? You still have to use QuickBooks, do an integration. It's going to be a huge pain. Well, Zoho has a finance suite for you. Um, they have their accounting suite. So they have software for uh, called Zoho Books, which is a parallel product to QuickBooks. They have an inventory tracking system. Um, they will set you up for success on multiple fronts of the business. So all of this is $37 per user per month. And flexible user pricing, which this will be interesting to talk about. So uh, I've never seen someone not paying for all employee pricing. I'll just say it that way. Um, but for flexible user pricing, it's $90 per user per month. If we're going to play fair, um, that's their most expensive, right? So their most expensive is sales hubs cheapest. And that's just sales hub, by the way. This isn't everything they have to offer. Zoho, this is their pricing for everything. And you just got to pay per user per month. If you want to do flexible user pricing, awesome. Here, it's the same for paying for one hub inside of um, inside of HubSpot. So that brings us to how on earth is Zoho doing this for so cheap? And I mentioned it earlier. Um, there, there's a couple of reasons. I'm gonna I'm gonna start from the top on this one. I actually think this is really important. The reason they're able to make this stuff so cheap is they're in India. That's the big reason. And India's cost of labor is uh, far less than what we're seeing in the U.S. And you might think to yourself, okay, then it's gonna be lower quality. You may assume that. That is not true. Zoho is uh, in, uh, invest most of their capital and their time into software development. And these other organizations like HubSpot and Salesforce, they overly invest in the advertising. I mean, that's what we do in the US, right? We're uh, very capitalistic, you've got to advertise. Um, and so that's why you know about Salesforce and HubSpot and you don't know much about Zoho. They're not spending as much on marketing. They're spending everything on research and development. So they're the inverse of these other organizations. They're also a private company, so they're not held to the whim of the stockholders, they're able to do what they feel like is best for their customer base. And so um, they also have a large office in the US. It's, um, I think it's down in Houston or Austin, somewhere in Texas. Um, they've got a large headquarters there, they do events. They're all over the world. Um, but the idea here to take away with Zoho is because of the cost of labor is cheaper, they're not spending so much on marketing, um, they're able to have this insane offering of software for an insane, it's insane amount of value, right? Because a deal, if we break down, like what makes a good deal? Um, it's the difference between what you pay for and what you get. And here you're paying $37 per user for all these applications, over 50 plus, over 50 applications here. It says 45. I think it's more like 60 or 70. For $37 per user per month, especially if you're small, this is the way to go. This is why people are moving to Zoho One in droves. This is why they have 100 million users um, because Zoho One, no one can beat them um, in terms of value. I used to joke, I, I mean, I still joke about Salesforce and HubSpot, really. It's pay um, twice as much uh, for half as much software as Zoho. And that's really what we're seeing in the industry is because there's commoditization and because there's so much competition, it's driving the prices low, which is great for consumers, especially if you're wanting to take advantage of all the software that's previously only really been available to enterprises. I could afford it and set it up. Now it's available to small, medium-sized businesses so you can get this enterprise-level robust system for a small to medium-sized business and take advantage of everything that it has to offer. All right, so I've mentioned the different suites of applications that Zoho offers. 
And now we're going to go way more in depth and be specific on exactly what Zoho offers an organization in terms of applications and uh, bundles. So you can buy, uh, you really have three options when it comes to Zoho. You've got individual applications that you can purchase on a per user per month basis. Um, as you can see, your most of them are per user per month. Um, and then you've, so each of these different applications that you're seeing here, you can just get them individually. You don't have to get any bundles. Then you have Zoho CRM Plus, which I think is like eight applications, somewhere around there. Um, but most people end up on Zoho One because Zoho One is the best deal. And you can see that Zoho really pushes people to get to Zoho One. Um, Zoho One's uh, all employee pricing is cheaper than Zoho CRM Plus, by the way. So uh, most people just end up on Zoho One. Now you have individual applications, Zoho CRM Plus, and then Zoho One. So you got two bundles and then individual applications you can purchase. Um, and you can kind of cherry pick those applications, but it gets expensive fast because you're paying a premium if you buy them individually versus getting Zoho One. So quick context as to what they're offering there. Okay, so if you get Zoho One, this is what Zoho gives you, is they give you a CRM for sales. Um, a simple CRM. If you don't want the robust version, you can get a simple version. If you've used Pipedrive, it's very similar to Pipedrive. Appointment scheduling, you get marketing automation software. Marketing automation is an application, email marketing, social media marketing, form, survey, website builder, event management, uh, web engagement and live chat from Zoho Sales IQ, website optimization from PageSense, e-commerce platform, affiliate and loyalty program um, application uh, for customer support you have in customer service you have zoho desk you have zoho assist zoho lens you have um, email you don't have to use gmail or outlook you can use zoho mail you can use instead of slack you can use click for collaboration you have zoho projects that you can use you don't have to pay for asana agile project management stop paying for jira you use zoho sprints um, internal social network you have like an internal billboard that you can post on for your team File management, you don't have to pay for Google Drive, you can pay for Zoho Work Drive, um, pay for Zoho One and get Zoho Work Drive. You have an LMS, so you can train your entire team um, in their learning management software. Uh, Zoho Shared Inbox, Zoho Meeting. I use Zoom, but you can use Zoho Meetings if you want. And here's the thing, just because they have an application doesn't mean it's the best in the industry, but most of these are up to snuff and you can replace most of the applications that you pay for on, a per, um, on individual uh, software subscriptions and they don't talk to each other. You can get Zoho One. Most of these applications are going to do it for you because um, other applications you're paying for a lot of features you're really not going to use. Productivity. Um, you have Zoho Writer, Spreadsheet, Slides. It's like Google Docs, Google Sheets. Um, instead of DocuSign, get Zoho Sign. It's just as robust. It will do it for you. Don't pay for one pass. Pay for Zoho Vault or use Zoho Vault. Take notes. Um, instead of using uh, QuickBooks, use Zoho Books, invoice management, expense management, payment, uh, payment forms, right from a site, you can collect payment. Operations, you got Zoho Billings, which was previously Zoho Subscriptions, so you can do subscription management. Zoho Inventory, so keep track of your inventory counts. Um, it'll hook up right to your um, Zoho bookkeeping software. You don't even have to use this crazy QuickBooks to your IMS um, system. You can just use Zoho Inventory. Human resources, you got Zoho People, um, Zoho Recruit. And for business processes, you can build custom applications from a low-code application builder with Zoho Creator. You can measure everything that's going on in your organization with Zoho Analytics. It's like Tableau. You can hook up virtually any application to Zoho Analytics and measure what's going on in or out of the Zoho suite of applications. Zoho Flow, stop paying for Zapier. The more you use Zapier, the more expensive it's going to get. Use Zoho Flow. If you're in Zoho One, you're already paying for it. Uh, data prep, it's going to help you to um, get data database ready for Zoho. And then you've got contract management. Um, this is newer. It's essentially Zoho sign up, except when you're in like the negotiation phase, you can go back and forth, highlight different parts of contract and say, hey, we want this, we don't want this. Okay, so all these applications are offered to you via Zoho One. Zoho actually has more applications than this. This is just what Zoho offers you with the Zoho One package, which is the most popular. Now it's the moment we all knew was gonna happen in this video 
where I encourage you to sign up for a free trial of Zoho if you are interested. No pressure if you're in the consideration phase um, within your organization for deciding on a platform that you want to move over to. Then don't stress it. But if you're like, I need this yesterday and you don't want to pay for it initially, you want to try it out before you have to pay, and you don't want to throw in your credit card, which is always super annoying to have to do because you're like, I'm going to forget about it and then I'm going to be paying for it and I'm going to be all pissed off. Then use the link in the description below and you can go to Zoho. My, um, this is an affiliate link. Um, I'm a Zoho partner. So sign up for it, do the free trial. If you hate it, don't use it. Let the trial expire. You're not going to have, you're not going to be charged because you don't have to put in your credit card. And if you do like it, continue to use it and try to take advantage of the platform. Don't pay a, a fortune, agent, a fortune for your software and take advantage of everything that Zoho has to offer for a very low price. So that's how you can take advantage of Zoho if this is something you're interested in. If you've seen this and you're like, Andrew, I, I definitely need this. Our organization needs this. Then go ahead and sign up for a free trial using the link in the description below and support the channel. So the question with Zoho, if you get started and you're wanting to get more into it, the question becomes, now that you know what Zoho is, you know what it offers you, you know how much it costs and you're trying it out, it's how do you get this monstrous platform set up correctly? And I've got a couple free resources for you. You don't have to pay for any of this stuff. Um, this will show you how to get it set up. So you've got, first off, my Zoho CRM Implementation Masterclass. It's on my YouTube channel. If you're watching my YouTube videos, if you back out, go to the page, you should see this. And this card right here is essentially the order of importance for how to correctly go through um, a Zoho implementation, a Zoho CRM implementation. I'm going to do a Zoho One video, which will show you how to get all the applications generally set up for your organization in the best way possible. But for now, you've got this one that you can take advantage of. It's it's long, so put on 2x speed and go through it. You've also got these various tutorials um, that zoom in uh, into each of the major applications for Zoho. I'm still building these out, but I've got three of them up right now. And then I've got this implementation one. So uh, that's a lot of training. The thing I want you to understand here is you're going to fall to the level of your training. So just because you, I mean, purchasing the software and considering the software, that is the easiest part. The hardest part is getting a really good understanding of the system so that you can build it for your organization. There's never going to be a turnkey product for your organization that you're going to turn on. You're never going to have to customize or configure. So make sure that you are extremely competent in the tool that you decide to go with. Um, that is the major thing I want you to take away from this section of the video. All right, so in addition to that, I've also got on my website, if you go to Z Training, I have a full-fledged training program to turn your entire team into power users and users of Zoho. It's free forever. Um, you can just go here and fill out this form and you will get Z Training. Again, you fall to the level of your training. You never rise to the promised capabilities of the platform that the salesperson sold you or that I told you about in Zoho. You don't rise to the occasion. You fall to the level of your training. So make sure that you get trained up and you use Zoho. Maybe before you get Z training, uh, check out these videos to see if you like the way that I'm. Um, I do my training. Uh, if you like my training style, then you can go ahead and get Z training. It's also free, and it, and it zooms into various aspects that aren't covered in these videos. And you can add your entire team, so you can go through here and you can add everyone to your team. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can just add yourself to it and then share that knowledge with other people as you go. But yeah, here's the Z training components and. These are all the free resources that I can offer you so that you can get Zoho set up correctly and you can take advantage of what Zoho has to offer.